Now, you call out any singer you want, your favorite singer. I do them all. Uh, well, uh, Anybody. Bing Crosby. Okay. Bing Crosby, okay? Billy Eckstein. Thank you very much. Come on, see him, Judy. Billy Eckstein. <laughs> yeah, from this morning on, you and I, babe, we'll be riding high. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank Frankie you. Lane. Frankie, Frankie, Frankie Lane. Frankie Lane. Frankie Lane. Lane. Yeah. I'm Frankie Lane. Hello. From this moment on, you and I, babe, we'll be riding high. That's pretty good. Theresa Brewer. Theresa Brewer. From this moment on, you and I, babe, we'll be riding high, babe. Little horse. Your little horse. And now the greatest voice of them all, me, from this moment. I said, from this moment. Listen in, from this moment. Moment on. And now for some dancing Watch this, dude, dance Hot dog, you ain't seen nothing yet, did it? Thank you, now for some musical instruments, please, my horns stops me ladies and gentlemen and now for change of pace death defying act seven knives thrown at one time never been done in <laughs> thank, you. thank you thank you very much thank you very much ladies and gentlemen now for a change of pace i shall sing the beautiful aria la danza i've chosen the beautiful aria la danza i am very unheard of to do this but i'm going to do it <laughs> but i must have a keynote i must have a little uh, Vocalize, I sing so much rock and roll as I did earlier. So let me hear the D. Let me hear D. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I'm all right. <laughs> let me hear the E. Let me hear the E. Uh -huh. I'm all right. <laughs> oh, golly, it's getting better. Let me hear F. Uh -huh. Let me hear the G. Uh -huh. Let me hear the H. <laughs> That's the greatest musician I ever heard. Well, gentlemen, horns up. <laughs> Let's pucker, take a deep breath. A dance. Kill. Kick it. Jala. Hello, I met you, Madame. I'm a messy South. I'm a bell of pardon, John. I'm a messy South. I'm a little one. I'm a messy South. I'm a little one. for a change of pace. Ladies and gentlemen, I've chosen something in a little lighter vein, the ever popular Othello. <laughs> 
I have chosen Othello because I believe it's one of O. Henry's greatest short stories. <laughs> Time does not permit me to do the entire show. I could, but you'd all yell, show off. <laughs> so rather than offend you and my humility, I've chosen the very last scene. Othello has strangled his beautiful wife Desdemona because he thought she was untrue to him. With his own hands, killed the only one he ever loved. And she dies. <laughs> the guards come in to take Othello away, and he speaks to the guards. The very last speech of the play, unbeknownst to the guards, is a little dagger under his toga. And he pulls it out and kills himself, and the curtain comes down. I do this in all sincerity if I offend any of the Shakespeare lovers in the audience. <laughs> I'm not trying to be dramatic. I forgot the first line. <laughs> Four score, seven. That's the other one. <laughs> Soft, you! A moment or two before you take me away. I have done the stage some service and they know it, but none of that, though. Pray you that in your letters when you shall these, these unlucky deeds relate, oh, speak of me as I am. Nothing extenuate, and then must you, must you speak of one who loved not wisely but too well. If one not easily swayed, but like the base Indian threw a pearl away, far richer than all his tribe. And write you, write you, write you down this and say that once, when an evil Turkish soldier committed violent and cruel acts against me, I grabbed by the throat this dog and I smote him thus and again and again. A million baby kisses. I'm gonna deliver if I can only find that swanee river. Beauty, I'm talking about that rock of ice, baby, with a Dixie mellow. Did you ever see Pete go tweet, tweet, tweet on his piccolo? 